This is my chicken oh coop my building God. partner. Are you taller than me now? No. You're with your poofy thing on you are. Yeah. Okay, get your coat on. Why? This won't work. <laughs> she sees the hat. Evie, leave it. Oh, yeah. Tell her no. Here Evie, go. leave it. No. No. Roddy, chop. Go. Go. Okay. Let's get him. We need to get this. Hey! Oh, jeez. Than it. Oh, it's frozen. That's why. Go on the other side and kick it like this. Hold it. Hold it. Evie? Hey, you can come over here. I got it. Oh. Can she get your hat? Yeah. For those of you who might be new to our channel, we live in northern Minnesota. Our winters are very cold. It's not unusual to see 60 plus inches of snow a year, more than twice the national average, and our daylight hours can get down to just under seven hours a day. It's pretty common too to dip down into the minus 20s and 30s Fahrenheit for days and even weeks at a time. So when we chose chickens, we chose cold hardy birds like Rhode Island Reds, Black Stars, Red Stars, and Americanas. Now these birds can handle a Minnesota winter, but they should be kept dry and have perches big enough so that when they sit down on their perch, they can cover their entire foot with their feathers. In our last video, you saw that winter came early. Thankfully, that snow has melted and we've had a couple of really nice weeks since then. And one of our goals before winter was to get another chicken coop built that would house the chickens in the winter. Our mobile coop was proving to be a little crowded and not dry enough. With that really wet snow, the straw was getting wet and it just wasn't a great situation in there. We thought we had plenty of time. We assumed we could work on it into November because believe it or not, we actually have some really nice days here into November and we kind of enjoy working outside in the cooler temps. Well, Joel's hernia surgery is now scheduled for next week. So we really wanna get all of these big projects done before that so he can relax and not feel rushed to get back at it. Truth be told, he'll probably feel that way anyway. It's just the way he is. But having the chickens in their winter home will just be one less thing. I'm not unless they have a greenhouse. So it is working. I was really pretty pumped to work on this project with Owen and I even got Eric to help. I can't tell you how rewarding it has been to learn how to do all of these things with our kids, to watch them problem solve and work together. It's every parent's dream, right? To watch their confidence grow and to build kind of this relationship with them has been really fulfilling. And it's so cool to get to spend time with them as partners and hear their ideas. And they have some really good ones. I'm realizing that we're never too old to learn. And these last few years have taught me to trust my kids, even when they make mistakes. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We can measure again and cut a new board. And it's really important to us that our boys feel safe making mistakes and to know that they can keep trying because if they don't feel safe here doing that. That seems real safe, doesn't it? <laughs> what? How can we expect them to bring that resilience with them in the rest of their lives? in the greenhouse and see how it fits. Okay. Got your gloves? Huh? 
kita? <laughs> Go get them. And the other thing it's done for me as a mom is to give me a little grace. How many of you moms, or even you dads, thought you had to have all the answers? Make sure it all got done. Well, I don't have all the answers, and it certainly doesn't all get done. Yeah. It, it apparently took putting our family in a completely new lifestyle to prove to myself that I really don't have all or even most of the answers. So back there, Dad put some screws in the back. That's kind of what it, you didn't expect that? Okay. Did we screws? Should we put in the bottom here on to cover up this gap? I One need more. a big rock like her. Oh. Do you think they can get through that? No. I don't think they'll try. I'm more, more worried about mice getting in than oh. chickens getting out. Well, mice could definitely get out there. Yeah. Oh, good. We have the right bit on. I don't know what you're complaining about, Joel. This is easy. <laughs> Okay, you can let go of this screw. Now it's just hard. Look at that. It's perfect. Alright. Now, now what do we do? We have to find those hinges to put on the door. I'm gonna use these little hinges, just like that. We have a little bit of gap on both sides, so when we open it, you wanna come out here, Owen, so that you're not stuck in there. <laughs> yeah. Let's put a shim under there. Do I have something? There she is. There she is. Oh, oh you see that? Says. Because that, that made it seem like nothing when she did that, right? Yeah, like she was going, oops. Like that was a normal oh. jump. Got it? Almost. I saw sparks. You did? Did you see it? Maybe not. I've got a sparkly personality. Mm. <laughs> Was that a bad joke? The okay, do you want to see if it works? Do you think she could jump eight feet? Should we see if it works? Yeah, go Ready? ahead. Wow. Flawlessly. Flawlessly. And the real aha moment is that life is still really good when you are unknowing and unfinished. But not the chicken coop. The chicken coop is finished. Welcome to your winter home, ladies. Do we think we want to bring the chickens in here? Yeah. But do you think Skittles will want to be in here? What do you think? Huh. It's an interesting question. Let's see if Skittles yeah, likes it. Skittles is going to want to be in here with the chickens. Yeah, let's see if she wants to. It's moving day for the chickens. How about if I hand them over? Or do you want to hand them over? I just don't want them getting away from
getting warmed up earlier, huh? Chicken. Okay, go ahead. Have fun. <laughs> Here, egg. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, we need their water. Thank you so much for watching and remember if you're enjoying these videos we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel we have lots more geothermal greenhouse stuff to show you this fall and winter our greenhouse in the snow kit is close to finished <laughs>